as it be now, this Bob Risky case no go end anytime soon. <laughs> Wala too much. They say our sister, no. Our our brother, because his brother and sister <laughs> in one in one woman, because it's wo and the man. So it's it's the same thing. <laughs> in one wo man. Alright. So they say the case no go end anytime soon. Say Bob Risky now say he won't even he won't hang himself. Say the matter done too much. Say very dark man come and come expose them, come expose everything. And you know what him bring all this matter come out to. Now because of say the uh, the borrow Bob Risky money four million naira. Somebody borrowed Bob Bob Risky money four million naira during the prison time when he takes settle. <laughs> for the for the special lodge, out of six months, she 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 he 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 spent only three weeks in the normal prison. Then the rest was in a VIP lodge. So I don't know say prison get VIP lodge. No wonder politicians know they lean, but ordinary man go lean be like skeleton. Only one week we spend for prison, eh? You go lean. Be like skeleton. You get people wait on day there three weeks, one month, two months, two years. Guy, if you see them, <laughs> they don't learn. Be like skeleton. So Bob Risk you not know, do anything for there. He just they enjoy the cruise. Even we self wait there outside, they suffer past Bob Risky for prison for Nigeria. Now they say all the people where they involved, all the Nigerian prison warders, we collect money or this or that, say they don't suspend them. They don't even jail them. They never even arrest them. Who they say they don't suspend them. How do we even know? We are not even sure that they, anything has happened to them. This guy now say even they follow Bob Risky, they mingle, they single. Say Bob Risky self, not even settle him. You know, if you appreciate him when they come out, not only that time when they in fight prison, now they, oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna appreciate you. I cannot post now because of all of on our way, they mingle with that. Bob Risky, even the time when they inside prison, where they use that voice they talk to, all of you are suspect together. Make we hear from this one now, we say the radio guard, we've been the attack very dark man that time. Say very dark man, he do this, he the attack Bob Risky, he the attack don't to DK, blah, blah, blah. Make we hear in your own part of the story. Oh yeah. Bob Risky, the mummy of Lagos, mm -hmm. was never in prison. Bob Risky was chilling in an apartment. And when Bob Risky was in that apartment, he was chatting with me. You mm. all know that I never support very dark black man. But on this case, I am backing very dark man up. But Brisky was never in prison. As a matter of fact, you all know that I've been supporting Bob Brisky. I defended him when very dark black man called him out as G-A-Y. When very dark black man called him a transgender and older, I came out, I defended him because I do not like seeing people oppressed, irrespective of their sexuality. But you know what? But Brisky is an ungrateful person. He doesn't keep to his words. But Brisky never compensated me for everything I did for him on social media. I defended him a couple of times, and you guys know that. He's an ungrateful person. And I'm here with proof. He never ever went to prison. Check out the voice notes. But Brisky sent me when he was in an apartment, chilling like a villain. Hi, good morning. How are you? See, I, I'm really grateful. I'm really, really grateful. God bless you. I see everything you do. I see all your posts. People have been telling me, or this guy has been saying good things about you, has been posting you. Thank you so much. I'm fine. Like, I'm very, very fine. So don't be worried. Don't, um, don't be stressed. I'm really fine. Don't worry. I'll tell you some things probably when I'm, when uh, I'm in position to explain to you better. I would explain uh, everything to you, you know, but I'm very fine. Like, I'm very, very fine, so I'm okay. <laughs> I know people are, people are scared, they're worried. Oh, but this kid's in the prison, but this kid's this. <laughs> I'm very okay, I'm fine. 
um, thank you so much. Thank you one more time for everything you've been doing. God bless you. Uh, it's so sad that um, I was asked not to post anything. If not, I would have reposted all your videos and I would post everything. I appreciate you. But immediately when it is time for me to do that, that will be the first thing I'm going to do. Thank you. And have a wonderful day. You're a star. And nothing will stop your shine. Trust me. All these people saying rubbish on the internet. They're not rich now. They're not rich. They're just online blabbing. Blabbing. Internet warriors. Keep at warriors. Keep living. Keep doing your thing. God got you. I'm happy you are fine. That's the voice of Bobriski and myself conversing in a voice note. Bobriski said to me that I shouldn't worry that a lot of people are thinking he's in prison, but he's not. But Brisky never ever went to prison. Him coming out to say that Very Dark Man lied and saying that the voice in that voice note Very Dark Man played wasn't his. It's a big joke. That was Bob Brisky speaking to someone. You can also compare that voice note played by Very Dark Man and this voice note I played and you will tell that it was Bob Brisky. Bob Brisky was never ever in prison. And trust me, Bob Brisky took that four million naira from that guy and didn't want to refund him because Bobrisky does not keep to his words. Bobrisky was meant to compensate me for defending him online, but he never did. That's to show you that Bobrisky never ever keeps to his words. Bobrisky is a manipulator. Bobrisky is not a sincere person. And if you ever want to do business with Bobrisky, be careful mm. because he is not reliable. Mm. I've got another evidence of Bobrisky being in an apartment and I'm going to play it now with the chats he sent to me that period as well. Check it out, guys. That's Bobrisky chilling in an apartment when we thought he was in prison. That was why he came out with so many pictures because basically... He was just there chilling and going to the studio to take pictures to pepper us when he comes out. But he was never in prison. That was why Bobrisky had a lot of pictures to post when he came out. Bobrisky had 15 million naira to spend on cake. He spent a lot of money on doing his party when he came out. But he never kept to his words. He never compensated me. That shows he is not a reliable person. But Brisky was chilling in an apartment. He never ever went to prison. I applaud very dark black man for covering this and I am backing him up on this. I'm saying it categorically that Bob Brisky never went to prison. I'm an OG. That's why I'm saying this to you. And I can't. Hey, come for that. You are going to come down. On a say, this country, people, they enjoy you. <laughs> Don't leave me and you. Now you know they enjoy anything. They say prison now. Yeah, come on, go there. Go there, all the activists. Now go there, go there, go and suffer, go and pie there. See Bob Risky. <laughs> VIP. VIP. And she was, he, he she was slaying there. He, she was slaying there. Slayer. Who knows how many how many of guys on the top we go visit her? <laughs> hey! Wala D. Hmm? With all those pictures when you send this guy. Who knows how many of God they we don't send and we come visit her for that VIP lodge? Who knows? <laughs> we just they play for that country. Nothing they happen. If ordinary Bob, Bob Risky can influence the the prison. Tell me politicians where they connected. These are where they say, oh, catch Yaya Bello, catch Yaya Bello, prisoner, send her to prison. Guy, the only difference is that we are not going to, even now, say, we know they even see the Yaya Bello. We know they see him. So there is no difference. He will just go to, they will just build one, one compound for him. Ogo, go they come. Ogo, different, Ogo, different sizes of Ogo Miliki. Go they visit him for there. If ordinary Bob Risky with 15 million naira, 15 million naira, Bob Risky was able to influence a whole Nigerian prison, a whole Nigerian prison, or that, pata, pata. he was able to influence them. He can't be politician. Imagine Yaya Bello will loot 
110 mil, 10 billion, billion. That estate they go carry, yeah, yeah, be the end. Now it's that estate, now yeah, yeah, be the go finish in prison. Now there I go day. Just they do anything, go to gym, exercise, do everything, just enjoy. There is no, there is no rule of law in Nigeria. It's not working. It's not working. All right. Um, so in respect to what Faust the bad guy posted, a letter that says I should retract my statement and I should apologize um, for defaming him. Um, first of all, before Faust posted that, Sean Kuti called me and he said, I'm very lucky, man. I just finished speaking with Faust the bad guy. I want you to call him. I'll send you his number. I want you to call him so that you guys can talk. You know, and I said, Ebo, I don't want to talk to Faust. Then he said, um, no. You need to hear what he wants to say, you know? And then um, I sent files a message, we got on a call. And then when we got on a call, then he said he wasn't happy. Then I said, how far? Then he started talking, you know? I said, ah, he said, he was started talking about defamation, that he wasn't happy. Then I said, files, I thought you were calling me to tell me your own side of the story so that I will know what's up, you know? But um, I don't understand what's going on now. So at a point in the conversation, I felt like Faust was recording me, you know, and then I said, Faust, I feel like you're recording me. I feel like you're trying to get evidence for me or trying to make me say something so that you can hold me by my wrist, you know, and then when I said it, he could not defend that, you know, then he went on saying things like, um, since you know me on social media or my family, have you ever heard anything negative about myself or my father? I said, I have never heard anything negative about your father, Femi Falano. However, you yourself have heard something negative about you. Then he said, what have you heard about me? Then I said, uh, my bro, it is for my own consumption and not for me to tell you. You know, so it was almost as if he was trying to pick my brain to know what I know and the length of things that I know. Well, anyways, that's by the way. Then um, the whole conversation ended up with me telling Faust that, thank God you are a lawyer, so you will not need to pay a lawyer to stand for you in court. But as for me, I did not defame you, and I'm standing that I did not defame you. So I will see you in court. That's number one. Number two, I did not read what Faust posted until later. And then when I read what Faust posted, I said, wait a minute. But Risky is saying that the voice call was fake. And now Faust is confirming that Bob Risky, they actually had a call. Mm -hmm. You understand? Wow. The only difference is that he's saying that Bob Risky was the one that called him. Why Bob Risky is saying that his Faust that called him? Faust is saying Bob Risky has seen for three million. Bob Risky is saying that Faust said he should pay a lawyer with his father ten million naira. Do you understand? Now, what I expect Faust to do, instead of addressing that letter to me, I expected you to address that letter to Bob Risky, requesting that he should clear your name off that voice call and you should clear um uh, uncle falano's name off that call not you coming for me do you understand i wasn't the one in the record do you understand my reason for posting that is to expose corruption the corruption that states that bob risky used his mouth to say that instead of taking him to prison that he took him to a private lodge mm. That EFCC collected 15 million naira from him to drop an allegation and to drop a charges that said he laundered money. Do you understand? And inside all this thing is calling your name and you are sending a letter to me. I would expect you to send that letter to Bob Risky. Do you understand? To be very honest, I did not defame Faust and Uncle Femi Falano. Now that's on the side. Now, as she stands like this, I am standing my ground to say. I still want to know what went down. Because going back to everything now, I saw there's a picture of Bobisky online where he carried luggage. You didn't go to prison, you carry luggage. Secondly, who gave Bobisky a phone to make call inside prison? Because they don't lock me up before. They remind me for Pujay prison now. I know say if you won't make call to your family, it will take you a process of telling one of the prison warden to say you won't make call or bring you outside, they'll give you a phone. If you remember the number, fine and good. If you don't remember the number, turn you sabi. Then you cannot call the person you want to call. So how did Bob Risky get a phone to call files and he's requesting that files will give him three million? Again, another question is this which officer charged Bob Risky three million for VIP cell? We need to know. Do you understand? We need to know which officer charged for Brisky 3 million. Because when they get all these amounts for, say they say they'll give they'll collect 10 million, may they clear a name from the crime where he commits. 
by a presidential pardon. You understand? So, my dear brother Faust, um, I did not defame you, and, and I will expect you to channel this energy to Bob Risky that called your name in that recording. And as for Bob Risky, um, like I said, I will post another recording from a totally different person entirely. Mind you, the first video I posted, I did not even post it complete. There are other side of the video. But I will post another one again today. I will post another one again today. Uh, yeah. I will post another one again today, confirming that this guy, man, through through no go prison. So is it that prison is for us where we don't get people? Nine. It's prison for us, the poor masses. Yes. Hmm? It's prison for us, the people that don't have connection. Who, who is this Bob Risky's godfather that also influenced the clearing of his, uh, the clearing of his charges, his money laundry charges? So that is my question. Do you understand? It's pretty simple. I want to know what really happened, and I believe a lot of Nigerians want to know. That being said, some Nigerians, I see comments like, is Bob Risky the problem of the country? No, Bob Risky is not the problem of the country. However, this Tories and the corruption surrounding Bob Risky is part of the problem of Nigeria. Do you understand? Now, just imagine. Imagine if it was a whistleblower that said the thing about the money laundry. Do you understand? And tomorrow now, you can't release the person or you go put down for one lodge. That person where you put for lodge now, come orchestrate, come plan the buying of the person where do whistleblowing. Do you understand? They cannot investigate the person that is inside prison again now. They will say, ah, this one, they prison. That means another person drunk. They don't know, say the person, they outside. This thing is very deep, but you all don't understand. It's not about Bob Risky, it's about the corruption. Tomorrow now, you go carry your Abelu. Do you understand? So what if your Abelu pays and drops his charges and we think he's in prison? So how do you imprison politicians when they do wrong if the normal average people are paying to remove charges and are paying to stay in an apartment instead of a prison? Nigerians will not get to my brain. Anyways, you all better don't play, else you're gonna learn. And you will learn the hard way. Peace. Alright. So now I don't see very dark man there winning the court chain over what is happening. See, this country, eh? This country don't scatter. Pata pata. I don't know where to start from. Anyways, make gonna share this video and let me know with you now the reason. Follow this matter. So make gonna help me use this very app with the call tap tap send. And also use my promo code, which is Critics News on the screen right there. And they are going to give you five pounds extra on top of your money that you're sending to Nigeria. Five euros for those of now the EU area. Ten dollars for Canada and USA. And 25 AED for all those that wants to use my promo code, which is Critics News. Write it in capital letters and enjoy the free gift plus free transaction. They will not collect money. They are not going to charge you a dime. For using their product thank you and god bless you on your first uh transfer <laughs>